Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Carol Laurie, and we are here with guest expert number one of this new Empowered Against Recurrence live group coaching program. And we're here with Jonathan Edwards, who is the chief operating officer. I, you'll correct me if I'm saying the wrong thing for this wonderful company, Newsest. Here we go. And That's we're here right. to talk about. I, this is my go-to base protein powder that I use, and I love it. So welcome, Jonathan, and thank you for spending time here with me and my community. Um, give us a little introduction to how you've created New Zest. Right. Oh, so first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, well, and, and just to uh, not correct the record, but because uh, I think I said chief operating officer. I'm, yeah, I'm essentially the head of New Zest in the USA. We're a global company. We started in New Zealand and Australia back in 2012. And um, the whole company started when it's a family, it's a family business. This was started by Trevor and Monique Boland, a father and daughter. And um, the real beginning was in 2005 when Monique was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis at the age of 22. And, okay. you know, they were in a complete, both of them were doing completely different things with their lives than nutrition, but they went on a journey literally around the world, including here in the US, uh, consulting with experts, what's available in terms of treatment, et cetera. And what it led them to um, was nutrition. Uh, for people who don't know much about multiple sclerosis, there is, you I'm know, there's some good treatment say, these days. Yeah, correct. I'm there is good treatment. Say, there isn't a lot Sorry, in the world of allopathic or regular medicine for the world uh, for the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. And I feel that multiple sclerosis has a lot of emotional component to it, which contributes to mostly women are getting disease and often in their onset of 20s. But it's a mitochondrial inflammatory process. So as Jonathan just said, we need the nutrition as the foundation for healing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, anything that can reduce inflammation, anything that can, you know, help the body to, to battle its, you know, on its own front, so to speak. So that was the beginning of New Zest. And um, we have two products We've got, we have a bunch of products, but our main flagship products includes a pea protein, which we're talking about today. And that got created because, you know, obviously every cell in the body needs protein. It's one of the essential nutrients, uh, macronutrients. And um, Trevor and Monique's sort of mandate right from the beginning has been, let's start with coming up with the best possible product let's not be driven by how much does it cost to produce it <laughs> let's work out where the best what's the best first and then work backwards from there let's let's create that um and because we don't want to you know try and work out what do people want what can we sell no what are people what is needed and what does it actually cost to get the best and so our pea protein product called clean lean protein um comes from the fields of northern france you know, the oh. seeds are handpicked by um, a sixth, I think, sixth or seventh generation uh, Belgian company that is the world leader in pea protein isolation, doing it naturally, safely, and in a way that leaves the product totally, you know, free or almost completely free of any anti nutrients, you know, the kinds of things that you and I uh, don't want to be in our, pro our food. Uh, um, phytates lectins things like that GMOs. Yeah, sorry. Pardon GMOs. Me. gmos exactly and um you know i mean it, <laughs> the the peas are literally produced and grown in france then floated on a barge down to belgium <laughs> where they're naturally isolated using a water-based enzymatic isolation process and um that process is what renders it free of those anti-nutrients and with a real mild taste, um, high potency of protein, real great quality. You know, one of the things that you may be familiar with him, um, Carol, but there's a doctor, Christian Gonzalez on the West Coast who does a, in California, who's often posts about, you know, he's a little bit food policey, you know, which he's really great in that way. Um, 
And he did a study, he did a review of 80 of the plant-based proteins. Um, he called all the companies up, asked for their tests, you know, heavy metal tests, um, pesticide tests, et cetera. And of the 80, we were in the top, th number one of the top three for most transparent, cleanest. Congratulations. <laughs> best, best test results. Yeah. And I mean, interestingly enough, that, and I, you, you should shut me up because I can just talk for hours about this. No, stuff, it's okay. But, it's great. Yeah. Interestingly enough, um, Dr. G, as he's known by his followers, had called us two or three years earlier. And I, as a, not a rich, I'm now a citizen, but originally not from here. And I, every year I learn something new about doing business in the United States and with all the states and regulations in California, et cetera. And so, you know, this is eight years into my being here, um, found, found out that our tests that we did on the product in Australia didn't drill down far enough for what someone from California would want to know. So oh, you know, at the time when he originally called us two or so years earlier, we what he what we gave him wasn't what he wanted, what he needed. And so it set us on a mission to make sure that next time he called, we would have we would be ready. And at that time, and when so we got all the tests, you know, prop 65, all that stuff that they do in yeah. California. Um, and so by the time he called us, we were like, here it is. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. So yeah. let's talk about the flavors because, yeah. you know, for somebody who's doing this every day, yes, um, you can get bored, right? So this is chocolate, <laughs> and I have yep. to say that I use this. I I use this. I make a smoothie for myself, as I recommend all the women in my community do every yep. day. Um, and you can get bored if it's just one flavor. So let you have great right. flavors. Let's talk about the different flavors. We do. We have vanilla, so the chocolate, which you just showed. Um, smooth vanilla, which is, by the way, um, I've tasted a lot of vanillas over the years. I think ours is the best. I am totally biased. I agree. But, right. Um, and then we have wild strawberry as well, and then also a real coffee. And we call it real coffee because it has real coffee in it, freeze-dried coffee. So um, real coffee we have those four flavors. You have to drink it in the morning because if you drink it in the afternoon, you're <laughs> awake. <laughs> yeah, It doesn't ahead. have that much caffeine in it. It's probably got about a quarter or a third of a cup of coffee. But that's still – for some. I can drink coffee and go straight to sleep. But some people, that would keep them up. Yeah. So, yeah, very good morning. Yeah. And then obviously to keep it fresh and interesting, you know, people use our protein for baking. They add it to muffins. Don't you have a chai? Do... Don't you have a chai? We did. Um, it was a limited edition. Oh. And in fact, this, but that, but what's cool is this year, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing out a whole new bunch of limited edition flavors and functional proteins. So what we try and do is, you know, do seasonal stuff. And then we keep the core flavors chocolate vanilla strawberry and coffee in in the range well i vote for the chai coming back because i thought it was delicious. <laughs> um, yeah it was chai chai turmeric and um ma maca and so maca. it was super maca. yeah maca yeah. sorry it was super tasty yeah yeah that was great and the coffee is great i have to say in the summer <clears throat> you can put actually a little bit of real uh, a real coffee in there for the water and some ice yes. cubes, and you feel like you're drinking a coffee milkshake, and it's actually very healthy for you. It's really mm. delicious. Mm. Um, totally. So yeah. what about um, the limited editions that are coming out now? Do we know well, what those flavors are? Well, you've surprised me with that question, but that's but that's good because I'm good on my feet, Carol, and ready for all and every situation. <laughs> no, um, we, we – our next uh, – round of limited edition uh product protein products are probably going to be the second half of this year um and including some protein and greens which have some really cool flavors i can't say what they are yet because they're like literally in that final you know production formulation stage um and also you know the element of surprise and excitement surprise. yeah right. exactly but um yeah but this second half of this year we're we're we'll be doing our seasonal and also additional adding functional and protein and greens and some other you know um other gut support and all sorts of stuff coming out it's very exciting um, what it is exciting what are the other products that you have that you want to share with us oh my goodness all right well i am going to do what i'll do is a sneak peek of one that i'm super excited about so um we when i first 
started selling New Zest in New Zealand, we had a product called Good Green Stuff. And Good Green Stuff is, um, it's got 75 plus ingredients, the best, the best forms of everything. Um, you know, methylcobalamin for B12 versus cyanocobalamin. We've got natural folate versus folic acid. Like the list goes on, literally. And, um, and it tastes great. And it really is a, you know, gut support, immune support, nervous system support, you name it, it's in there, you know, 20 or so plus fruits and veggies. There isn't a greens like it. Now, you, the, probably the best comparison would be something like athletic greens. But this is so, and this is, you know, um, Trevor, who was the originate, who is the, the founder of New Zest, was the co-founder back in the beginning of Athletic Greens. So if you're familiar with that brand, we have a, you know, relationship uh, from back in the beginning, at least Trevor did. Um, but we have been selling new uh, Good Green, formerly called Good Green Stuff, now called Good Green Vitality, everywhere else in the world except the US, and we're about to launch it next month in the US. I am so excited. I can't wait to see <clears throat> you some, because I think you're going to go bananas. Please send me some, it. because then I'm going to promote to my community. And... Yeah. Ladies, I'm going to put the link <clears throat> in this post um, for you to purchase through my account, <clears throat> which is the only way you can purchase. You have to, <clears throat> excuse me, purchase through a doctor's account or through somebody <clears throat> that has a relationship with New Zest. So <clears throat> plus they offer my community a discount. So we'll have that link there. And um, you started to say that people use this in baking. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, one of the things that's been since the beginning, our customers, not us, like we really didn't have much to do with it, um, have gone crazy incorporating the product into, you know, pancakes, muffins, cakes, brownies, bites. In fact, there was a woman, um, Marcy, who's one of my, you know, one of my favorite humans on the planet. Right from the beginning, she contacted me and said, hey, I'm using your protein for all of these stuff, these things, donuts. I mean, and she... I was actually okay, we she shouldn't was in San be eating Diego. like that. Everybody, that? we don't eat like that. We're not eating donuts. We're not eating. Oh, it was pancakes. super healthy what? stuff, though. But you don't eat that, what? even if it's super healthy. Oh, it's oh. a little high in carbs, but especially uh, donuts. Okay, fine. Like, well, then okay, everybody forgets watch the carbs. The but I have yeah. recipes for healthy, gluten-free um, muffins and stuff like that. But go ahead. So she was using. Well, well. And we also have a lot of a lot of if you're if your um, audience your your people you work with are low carbs we have a lot of low carb recipes because one of the thing about one of the things about our protein is it's very low carb it's yes. less than two grams and half of that's dietary fiber so right. many 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 of the recipes on our website um, and that people make with our protein are low carbs you know pro, pro, or even the things like the protein pancakes they don't use you know, uh, flour or anything like that. They use the protein instead. <laughs> so right. you can actually use the protein as like a flour or a carb substitute. That, and things that makes that you it much healthier. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so, it's, it, the list is endless. So she put together a little cookbook with you. Well, she, she would just send. So she sent, would just send like, this is the latest thing I did with it. This is the latest thing I did with it and beautiful photographs. And we've had so many customers do that over the years. We've ended up with hundreds of recipes of like, you name it, everything you can imagine making, except we're using protein as an ingredient. That's really healthy. It's much healthier. Yeah. Much totally. healthier. <clears throat> Anything else you want to impart to the audience, Jonathan? I'm going to put the link for the women to purchase. I think one of the things I would just say about, um, you know, because I know that these days people are very conscious of where does their, where do the ingredients come from? What's the quality? And I already mentioned that our protein is grown in France, blended in Belgium by a world leader. Um, and that, the you know, it's there's a huge amount of sustainability, like in the plus column of sustainability. In fact, including the factory where it's made is almost 50% um, self-sufficient now in terms of power. You know, they're aiming wow. for 100% in the, sh in, the, in the medium term, but in the short term, they're already halfway there. Um, and our protein, we use, some people uh, don't like different sweeteners. We use a fruit protein isolate called Thormatin, which is extracted from a West African fruit called the Katemfe fruit. What's cool about that um, is that it's not a carbohydrate. 
it's a protein it's a sweet protein so you can actually say about new zest our protein is sweetened with protein <laughs> i've so, never heard of that and that's very exciting what's it called what's its name please so the so the fruit that we derive that the um the protein is isolated from it's actually is isolated from the membrane around the seeds in the middle of the fruit it's kind of an ugly looking little fruit although beauty is in the eye of the beholder called the Katenfe fruit Can from West that? Africa. K-A-T-E-M-F-E. M as in Mary or N as in Nancy? As in, as in Mary, exactly. Yeah. And Katenfe then fruit. Katenfe. Yeah, Katenfe. Katenfe. That's fascinating. And I'm so excited about that because you're the mm. only company that does that. That I've seen as well. And so that so if you want to Google it, um, you all can Google Thormatin, which is the which is what they the you know, like the trade name of the of well, I just the isolate. Put the fruit in the um in the chat and women can look up katemfe fruit if they're interested. They can do that and then exactly yeah. and it's the protein isolated from katemfe katemfe fruit called Thormatin. Um and it's and it's very sweet. So we only use a tiny, tiny little bit. It's a protein. It doesn't have an aftertaste. And the cool thing is it actually masks the flavor. So our pea protein is already super mild um, because of the isolate enzymatic water-based isolation process. But it also, the thormatin helps mask the pea flavor. So you don't really taste any pea. I know. A lot of them are, I don't want women to need to drink something every day that tastes mm. horrible. You have to look forward to it. If you're having a healing smoothie every day, it has to taste good because not only does it have your pea isolate protein powder in it, but I put additional antioxidant powders in it, as sometimes even herbs, because it's healing and it has to be medicinal and supporting their recovery from breast cancer. So it needs to taste good. So yeah, you can't. You know, nobody wants to look forward to drinking something that tastes yuck, right? That's exactly right. And a lot of people I know just have our protein with water because it's kind of like fluffy, doesn't have any gums or emulsifiers in it. So it's just naturally fluffy and kind of thick and creamy, which is really I like nice. That. Naturally fluffy, thick and creamy. It's the best. Yeah. And it, you feel like you're having a milkshake, but you're having it really is like that. I think yeah. we even say in some of our marketing material, it tastes like a milkshake. Yeah. Well, we especially just... the coffee. The coffee is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's right. I love that one. Yeah. And I make it with a little bit of coffee and I feel like I've had a, I'm having a coffee, vanilla, ice cream milkshake, but of course I'm never putting anything like that in there. It's just the, your coffee powder with, you know, my, my antioxidant powders and um, it, I'm set to go. It's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. I guess. So thank oh, can I say one last thing that yeah, I think yeah, would be, people would like to know? Um, one of the things people often say have said to me over the years is, um, Yours is the only protein I can digest without bloating, which is oh, funny great. because some sometimes people will say to me before they've even tried the protein, "Oh, I can't, I can't do any legumes because I get gas or da da da." You know, it's like I couldn't take pea protein because, and in fact, because of our isolation process, which leaves which renders it almost completely free of phytates and lectins. Um, and any other the other anti nutrients that might cause bloating, um, it really it, I get have gotten email after email saying yours is the only protein I can take that doesn't give me gas doesn't cause me and in fact we ended up collaborating with a um, a woman called Bethany Ugarte who almost died from IBS and digestive issues and during that time she contacted me saying I've been buying your protein. Um, and it's the only one I can take and we should get together because I've now got a, an audience following me. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And, but anyway, the point being, um, that was one of the only things she could eat. So the, if you have digestive issues, it's definitely worth giving a try. Most people say it's wonderful in terms of digestion. And that's the case with yellow peas. They're very digestible. We use, we use golden peas, yellow peas. Yeah. There we go. There it is, folks. There um, it is. So one last thing, Jonathan. Um, yeah. How long does a container like this last? 
Well, we have a best buy date on every container, so it always no, I mean, depends on. If I'm buying this, is this enough yes. for a week, two weeks? I oh, mean, okay, great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Wow, you stopped me from going down a whole rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, no. Right. Yes. So it's it's that one looks like a ten serving tub, so that probably lasts you a couple of weeks, depending on how often you're taking protein. Most people is it take ten protein. servings with two scoops or ten servings with one scoop. Oh, great question. Ten servings is. 20 scoops so it's two scoops per serving okay so, so if I you're only having one scoop one scoop unless somebody is having some weight loss problems so this would last a month yeah, 20 days 20 20 servings exactly right. a small one like right. that yeah yeah that's, that's right great. and our lot we've got medium size and large size one. tubs as well you sent me a uh -huh. big one yeah that's yeah. really yeah. wonderful okay i'm putting it in an order if there's any in the back room i would like the chai I'm putting in a special order if you have Okay, it. all right, noted. <laughs> Julie noted. Away. <laughs> yes, duly noted. All right. We love that one. Okay, ladies, right. I'm going to put the link here after we this interview in the chat uh, on the post with Facebook. I really encourage you. It's a whole nother experience with protein powder, and you all need protein powder for your smoothie. It's the base. The smoothie is not cow's milk and a whole bunch of fruit that's not doing your body health. You want the protein powder with some antioxidant powders and a tiny bit of fruit, quarter cup of some fruit, and maybe a handful of steamed kale. Or when Jonathan comes out with his greens, we're going to put that in there. And mm -hmm. if it's hot out, you can use ice cubes. But in the winter, it's too cold to do that. So that's the basis for the healing smoothie. And Jonathan, thank you so much. Uh, for taking time out to be here. And ladies, I only bring to you the best of the best. Having, I've probably tasted and researched at least 80 protein powders, no joke, wow. over the 35 years that I've been doing this. And New Zest is at the top for me, as it was in the top three for um, when, with the interview of the experience yeah, with Dr. Dr. Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah. 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 So there's something to be said for that, right? Congratulations, that's right. Jonathan. That's a big thing to be able to claim. Yeah, thank you so much, Carol, for having me and for sharing um, New Zest with your your people, um, your audience, and uh, yeah, real pleasure to be on. Okay, we'll be in touch. I'll see you in Traffic Tribe. Ladies, this okay. is Carol Laurie signing off for now, and there'll be more later. Have a beautiful day.